what's up soldiers Chris here CaribbeanPod.com if you're following me on Facebook you know that I've been dealing with the flu or some kind of nonsense since Friday well a few days now anyway so in the event to hear coughing or <laughs> I can't breathe and stuff like that during the video I fight it up but anyways we in the kitchen vibes in it up I found it is fall here in Canada which means all the pumpkins and squash and all that kind of niceness is out in full force I found an interesting ingredient it's called honey nut squash so I thought I'd show you all how to make a nice little talcary a nice little stew with it so here we go honey nut squash vibes it up man here I have three of the honey nut squash and you can see they're quite smaller than the typical um, butternut squash but if you can't find a honey nut squash butternut squash most squash will work with this recipe it's very simple what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna peel it core it get rid of the seeds and stuff like that and chop it up into small pieces maybe about a centimeter or two centimeter in size I'm also gonna prepare a small onion and a couple cloves of garlic Yep, I'm still testing out that pot. So the first, it's on a medium heat there. And I'm gonna go in with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And right away, as we usually do with these types of recipes, we need that flavor from the start. So I'm gonna go in with half of a medium onion, which has been diced, and two cloves of garlic, that just gave a rough chop to some black pepper. Give it a quick stir in here and I'm going to turn my heat down now to low because I don't want to burn the garlic and I really want to get all that flavor out of the onion and everything. I kind of love the scent of garlic and onion in that olive oil there. To add a bit more flavor, what I have here is about half a cup of prepared salted cod. Um, down in the description down below I will share a link to a video I did explaining what is preparing means and why we do it. Basically it's to remove most of the salt, the salted cod was processed or cured in and in doing so we make it a lot more <laughs> healthier. Oh boy I want to cough now. <coughs> well we remove most of the salt from it so it's edible. Still on low and we're going to give that another two minutes or so. I must mention, even though we prepared that salted cod, it will have a lot of salt still in it, so you may not want to add any salt to this dish until near the end, which I usually do, and then adjust it accordingly. I have here half a teaspoon of Caribbean green seasoning. There will be a link down below pointing you to the recipe for that, and that is just a blend of all the favorite herbs I like using. Well, there's garlic in there and stuff like that too. 
and each recipe in the Caribbean will be a little bit different. Every house has their own way of doing it, but it adds a lot of flavor to things. Next up, I have the diced squash. I rinsed it off. If you recall, I peeled it and I cubed it up. Turn your heat up now because you want to sort of bring this up to a, a bit of a boil. So we just lost one soldier there. Let's see what. Nobody left behind. I'm hearing a nice sizzle going on in the pot there. So I'm going to turn my heat down to low and I'm using a heavy pot, a cast iron pot, which retains a lot of heat. And that is a, you know, a good thing in cooking. I'm going to go in with some brown sugar and all the ingredients I use here today will be mentioned down in the description of the video and the recipe itself will be posted as I normally do on CaribbeanPot.com. Now all you need to do now is have some patience. We're not going to add any liquid to this. Heat all the way down to low. Put the lid on it and let that do its thing. Yeah, real simple recipe. It's been going now for about 12 minutes. And I just wanted you guys to see a couple things. One, it sprouted a lot of its own juices and that's why we had the lid on there. And two, it's going to start softening up. You just want to give that a stir, move it around. Wow, the squash is cooking much faster than I thought it would. Like the typical squash would take, wow, I'm guessing about half an hour to 45 minutes. By the looks of things, we may be done cooking this in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so. I'm super excited at how fast this thing is cooking. It's been about 23 minutes now. And as far as I can tell, it's cooked all the way through. You're gonna personalize this in two ways. One, taste it for salt and adjust it. I did taste it and I realized that it does need a little bit of salt. The salted cod that we use at the start wasn't enough to my liking. And I don't think it's gonna to be to your liking because personally, I'm cutting back on salt as well. But the other thing is I like squash cook pretty dry so I'm gonna leave the lid off now for maybe about four minutes and I'm going to allow any sort of liquid to burn off the third thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the back of my spoon here and crush any sort of chunky pieces that still hasn't melted down because I like it somewhat smooth now this I will be having with roti uh, it's a great side dish for just about anything but with roti mm. Any sort of flatbread, this works great. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up. If you want to add a nice little squash dish to your Thanksgiving festivities in Canada, we do Thanksgiving in October. I know my American friends, you guys do it down in November. But Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Allow it to cook down to dry. I'm going to say it's totally up to you. Let me hit you guys a nice little close-up there. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. A quick one. I wasn't feeling 100%, but at least we knocked out a lovely recipe. Do leave comments down below. If you have a question or you would like to request a recipe, please do so in the comment section below. I tried to get to those. Uh, the first 24... Wow, how do people do this left-hand thing, man? The first 24 hours after the video goes live. My little baby is here. We've got cookbooks, guys. WestIndianFoodCompany.com. Get your copy today.